Okay, I want to start modeling some doors. Well, we're going to model a door, but there's going to be quite a few videos involved in this. To get started, let's jump into Revit. Let's go to Families. Let's go New. Now, I want to scroll down to where we find Door. I want to click on Open. Now, what we're going to see is a bunch of stuff. So the first thing I want to do is check out some of our properties that are already there. So under Properties, let's click on the Family Types button. Notice that we have some predefined properties already here. The funny thing is, though, like, go ahead and select Height and try to delete it. You can't. Select the Edit Parameter button. Look, you can't do anything with it. Revit will have built-in parameters that we cannot edit. We can add to them, but we can't edit them. Okay, I'm going to hit Cancel here. The first thing I'd like to do is get rid of these silly little trims. So I'm going to go ahead and select this Frame Mullion Extrusion, and I'm going to just simply delete it. I'm going to select this one here, and I'm going to simply delete it. Now, my scale is a little too small, so I'm going to change it. Instead of a half inch equals a foot, I'm going to go one inch equals a foot. Sometimes I like to move my little exterior and interior down a bit. These come in handy, trust me. Now what I'd like to do is configure my dimensions. So I'm going to select these two equally constrained dimensions. For my properties, I'm going to click on Edit Type. I'm going to scroll down to the text, and I'm going to set my width factor to 0.8. I'm going to hit Apply. I'm going to scroll down a little more. In my unit format, I'm going to click here. I'm going to uncheck Use Project Settings, and I'm going to suppress zero feet. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Apply. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times. Now what I'd like to do is go to my interior elevation, because we'll see what we have here is a wall. And we have a little line here. This is actually an opening cut. So I want to go to my interior elevation in my project browser. So in your project browser, scroll down to where it says Elevations, Interior. I'm going to select my opening right here. Now I'm going to click on Edit Sketch. On my Draw panel, I'm going to click on my Start and Radius Arc button. I'm going to pick a point right here. I'm going to pick a point right here, and I'm going to let it snap to tangent. I'm going to hit Escape a few times. Now, this little line here is going to be an issue. Let's go ahead and select it, and just hit Delete. Once we're done, click on Finish Edit Mode, and we have an opening. I'm going to click on this button right here, which is Close Hidden Windows, and I want to save it. So I'm going to go up here to my Quick Access Toolbar and hit Save. And I'm going to browse where I'm keeping my exercise files. I'm going to call this Door. I'm going to go to my Options, and I only want to save one backup, and I'm going to hit OK. Hit the Save button. Now, a couple things I'd like to do. Click on your Family Types button. For the width, I want to change that to 4 feet, and I want to hit Apply. I want to hit OK. I want to go to a 3D view. I just want to make sure our opening is going to work when we flex it. But now what I want to do is test it in an actual project. So I'm going to go to my Purple R dropdown. I'm going to go New, Project. I'm going to select my architectural template, and I'm going to click OK. Now, in my plan view, I'm going to go to Architecture, then Wall. I'm going to simply draw a wall like this. I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to hit Control Tab to go back to my door. I'm going to click Load into Project. Now, I want to make sure I click on Tag on Placement. I find my wall, pick it, hit Escape, go to a 3D view. As you can see, making an opening is really easy. Making a door, however, there's a few more steps.